at Sweden's east coast, near Astrid Lindgren's Vimmerbu, in the vast forests of Småland, there is an unexpected adventure waiting for you. Meet Sarah, Aurora, and Jorn at Vium Moose Park. Welcome back. Let's see what exciting things have happened since last time. In our work, we meet so many interesting and fascinating people. For example, Marcus, he has come from Japan filming different kind of animals all around the world. So Marcus, can you tell us about what you are doing? My name is Marcus uh, and I'm from a company called Qualcomm. We work with security system for, uh, in the end, the self-driving cars that will come out. Uh, we, we drove around different animal parks filming uh, animals and the scenarios, we call them, the situations where the animals stand in front of the camera so the car can recognize and act accordingly. So, um, if you say uh, a moose, now when we are at the, the park, uh, come up on the road, the car will recognize it's a moose and then brake and steer away. In different parts of the world, there actually are self-driving cars. Where Mercedes have cars that go on the autobahn, and uh, I can't say for sure, but it's. I think it's soon. I think we will see the self-driving cars uh, on the roads. Yeah. Marcus wasn't the only special guest this month. Mark is a farmer and embryologist from Manchester. He's a renowned judge of cows at international dairy shows. Is this your first visit to Sweden? No, I've been to Sweden two or three times before, judging smaller shows. And I, I've also judged in the spring, in the autumn, further up in the north of Sweden, which was one of my most beautiful places I've ever traveled to. Um, I was hoping to see the Northern Lights, but I, I didn't manage to do it. Um, yeah, beautiful place, Sweden. What is the difference between a cow and a moose? Well, the one thing about the moose, the moose is really majestic. It just has that style. It, it's, I like the way it moves. It just moves at a slow pace and just it's just chilled with life. Um, but again, I saw one run as well and it can run up to 70 miles an hour, which is another thing that I learned as well. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're a very majestic creature, I think. So, you're selling your cows now and start keeping moos? I don't think so. Um, but they're, they're so much like a cow because they are ruminants, their habits, their character seems to be very similar to the cow. So, yeah, I could keep moos, no problem. Moose are wild and cows are not. Yes, but I, I think the moose could be tamed also. Any thoughts about the park you'd like to share? The park? Yes, the park is, is, is beautiful. I mean, it's in a fantastic setting. We've got the lakes there, we've got the trees, we've got the woods. We've got some beautiful fields for the moose to roam in. And uh, yeah, it just, it, it's tranquil. It, it fits the moose's personality for me. So, yeah, just a beautiful place for it. And how about Jon and Sarah? Yes, well, the owners of the park were very informative. Um, he speaks very good English and he was telling me uh, about the digestive system, the habits of the moose, how they uh, are very individual, how they perform in, in, in the wild. And 
the one thing I noticed, it's uh, obviously a very good thing, are very, very close to the, the natural world that they live in. So how would you sum up your experience today? Unbelievable experience. I'd never seen a moose before and I, it was on my bucket list to see a moose. And I've traveled lots of places around the world. I've spent many hours looking for moose and today my dream came true. I've seen a moose. Oh, what a nice surprise. Hi. Hey, Aurora. Hey, Emily. How are you? Good. So, what have you been up to? We haven't been at the Estonian Lynch World. Usually we out there in the summer. This time it's the autumn market. We are often there because they close to the park. Are there many people? Yeah. How many? One thousand. I have met people London in the market. Aha! What did she say? Hi, what is your name? My name is Aurora. Hey Aurora, I wonder, where are Pippi's papa and mama? Her mama. Pippi's mama. Her is that and Pippi's papa. He is in the boat. Ah, so he's a seaman? Yes, he's the captain. He's captain? Wow, cool. We look at the store. And we eat. Oh, what did you eat? Meatballs. What are they called in Swedish? Köpenlej. In Holland, they are called gehaktballetjes. It was nice to talk to you, my friend. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Yes. Maybe you can come and visit me. Oh, that would be nice. I promise. VCs. Goodbye. Bye, Aurora. So today is a very exciting day because today is the day that we are going to move our pigs to their new winter house. And it's uh, really in the neck of time because uh, tomorrow the forecast is uh, snow. So we have to move them before the snow starts to fall. So we hope everything will go well because uh, Sally and Eddie, our pigs, are not used to going in the transport. Yes. yes. So, but the plan A is that we will get them inside by luring them in with the food. So, but uh, Sora, what's the plan B? Plan B is that plan A works. In the end, it went even better than we had hoped for. Uh, because plan A worked. And plan B. Yes, it's good to have double plans. Sally and Eddie were really relaxed uh, the whole trip and uh, seemed to be looking forward to come to their new home. Yeah, Eddie loved 
the apples were laying on the ground yeah. under the apple tree. It was really nice. Yeah, they were really happy when we came home with them and uh, they just went inside and started to exploring the new fence. Everything went so quick. Yeah. Well, like home directly. Yeah. So all in all, a really good day. So uh, we moved the pigs just in time, uh, the, just a day after, the snow was coming down really hard. So uh, trees have fallen over the roads. You can see our lilac bush over here has just toppled down. So we have to take it away. Uh, but the pigs are safe in their no new winter home. So they are really happy and we are really happy with how good it went with uh, taking them home to us. But uh, now when we have this, we have to cut it down, as I said, and it's always good that you have uh, staff to fix it for you. Jon, come and fix it! Saga. She's the bodyguard outside here. When another moose tries to attack us, she runs to try to save us. Also, if I call on another moose who have a bad behavior, she will help me and kick that one so it will behave in the future. And then she comes to me and just wants to snuggle. And she loves potatoes. Yeah. This one is uh, seven years old. She was actually born in another moose park, Molilla. And she has always been a bit of uh, a problem for a lot of our employees. After the last episode we have gotten a few questions uh, and the first one is from John Hendricks in Holland and he wonders uh, because uh, we cut a lot of wood in the last episode uh, to feed our moose with and he wonders if we can cut wood everywhere and no we can't in Sweden we have something called Allemansrätt and uh, in Allemansrätt, you can go in the forest, you can move around, but you're not allowed to break any living trees or branches or anything like that. Uh, usually we cut uh, wood, branches and stuff on our own um, places, uh, but also from neighbors who want to get these leaf trees away and stuff like that. So, our next question is from uh, Dorota in Poland. And uh, she wants to know how many uh, calves a moose cow can get in one go. Usually, uh, the first time a moose cow gets a calf, there's usually only one calf. But the second time, and every time after that it's usually actually twins but they can got three calf in one go but that's very unusual usually it's two calves give me a hard one a question <laughs> okay yes i have a question here from eric from malmo in sweden who asking how old can a moose get? A moose can get about uh, between 15 and 20 years old, uh, like an average. But uh, actually, they found a moose cow not far from here, who was 25 years old. So they can also be older. There is one question. We get more than all else. 
Yes, it's about this, the moose horns. Uh, actually, they lose their horns every year. And some people will think they have the, the same horns all their lives, but uh, that's not true. Because they lose it in about January, January, February, at least our bulls do. And you can see here, uh, this is from a moose who lived here a long ago. His name was Harald, he was like a superstar. And uh, this is his first horns. And then you see that uh, as much as he grows older, they change. And it change all the way up to here. We can see that the horns are starting to get smaller again. So first they are small, then they get bigger, 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 and then they get smaller again. So if you have any questions for us about moose, please comment below. And uh, until next time, Lots of moose greetings from Sweden. Hello. Hello. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time for more adventures at Virum Moose Park. Hi, do.